Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with Free Food. No, we're actually Volition. Volition, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be a name. All right, you guys want to introduce yourselves and what you do in the band? Well, I'm Ty Nuke. I'm the drummer. I've been the drummer since the beginning. The beginning. I'm Wes J. I've been the guitar since the beginning. In the beginning. What about you? Halfway through, about, I think I became the bass player. Yeah. My yeah. name's Dick. Newbie. Yeah, he's a, he's a half-timer. Half-timer. Mm-hmm. Well, starting from the beginning, Volitions Volition. is a cool band, and I like the stylized on the font that you have there. Tyler uh, designed it. Oh, yeah. Go yeah, yeah. He designed yeah. it. I, I drew that up because they were like, we need a band name because we have our first show coming up in like a week. And I was like, ah, let me just throw something together. And then I, I had a whole design through it. And like the line connects to a compass and everything. It was too yeah, much. it's like a mirror thing. It was though, too much. What I when I see, it's like almost one of those things. It's like forward and backwards almost. I, I, yeah. I tried. So <laughs> but volitions, I get from that. That's like a something of your own volition. Like this is yeah. what you guys it, like it, it, to do. Like you just compulsory jamming out. Yeah, I yeah, think we wanted much. to be volition, but that was taken by a few bands actually. So it we, really we was. Yeah, slapped an S on that sucker and went for it. But yeah, I mean, we're it's multiple like a people, multiple volitions. So even though technically it's not a plural, plurable word, Plur- I, that's plurable. A, that's a word. That's a word now. It's but a proper noun now. And so. then uh, <laughs> we had so two you volitions want. makes it so. We had two renditions of the logo, and I got the first one tattooed on me just wah, for it to be wah, changed. Wah. So, uh, I look cool. So you know they're not going <laughs> to quit now. You know he's on board. You can follow them. Yeah. Until next well, week when well, he announces. Well, people don't know our band name. If you look at it, it kind of looks like the name Jolly Lops or, or something. Jolly, Jolly Lops. Lops. That's a, it's our rendition of like me, like metalcore bands where it looks like a bundle of sticks. That was kind of our rendition of that. We're like, you don't know the band name by looking at it unless unless we tell you. They yeah. say that, but it's Great just, I can't draw. The music yeah. is super impressive. So going back, you're talking about like metalcore bands of a sound. What exactly is, it's, it's instrumental, but mm-hmm. it's like a prog rock, math rock type of stuff. Like what's the inspirations yeah. here? How'd you, how did you end up? Uh, so it's kind of a weird mix. So I've always been like a very heavy metalcore person. I love metalcore. It's my favorite genre. I would argue it's probably the best genre out there. Of course, that's subjective. But I love metalcore. I've always, <laughs> I've always loved it. So I, I'm a metalcore drummer. But then I met Wes, and Wes has always been like a blues guitarist. Yeah, I, I like Swancore. That's that's what I grew up listening to in the mid to what, late like 2000s. Yeah. But Dance I also, but I also, I, I also played in a blues band for many years, um, with, with some like old, old, with some old guys, which was that will really guy. definitely get the chops up, man. Yeah. And there is no vocals. I mean, I do want to say again, that's super impressive. I think you're the first band to not have a vocal mic in any way, shape, or form, and still just totally blew it away. Pioneers. And everybody <laughs> speaking with their instruments. So I understand, like in blues, there's you know talking with your notes and. Um, I definitely picked that up. Is that is that where you got like the seven string that type of music? Yeah, um, I have yet to really use it to its potential in a song that like we've messed around with doing harder stuff and actually using like dropping the seven string to like a uh, like drop A or something like that. It hasn't quite come out in our playing out, but it's meant to. I honestly just use it and I cheat because the, the pickups are really nice and sound hard. So I uh, I just use it sometimes because I like the, the sound of it. Yeah, but we'll, we'll use it to its potential. Dick, what kind of music do you like? I like playing. I like math rock a lot. Math rock. Math rock. Yeah, math, math cool. Math it's rock. okay if you do yeah. not understand the math so, rock. So we, we try to mix the three together, and um, we've been pretty much just playing stuff that I've written, but we've decided, you know, n- our next venture from here is going to be doing what Tyler kind of likes more. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like heavier harder. stuff. And, and we, we, we want vocals. We don't, like only want to be instrumental like that's how we are but we'd like to have a few songs where maybe someone comes like up and feature. sings or, <coughs> yeah, or features on tyler's a really good uh screamer so yeah um we've been trying to get him on something too to well i remember the first time we played with you guys months ago you actually had a fourth member that was mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. vocals on some tracks uh yeah that was reese um yeah, the homie. His, his full name is your boy reese it's your boy reese yeah, uh, so we, we have no love lost with Reese at all. It was, uh, he had joined the band initially, and the first time around, it was just that he he was into it, and then his girlfriend got pregnant. Oh. And yeah, he so got her pregnant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to <laughs> specify, it specified. was his. Yeah, it wasn't an accident. That's, that's a little better. <laughs> and, and um, well, anyway, so he decided to leave the band, because we hadn't even played a first show yet, or anything, um, 
but he decided to leave the band and we were like okay that's cool i mean like go do your family thing work more take care of your family that's cool no, uh <laughs> and then about a year about a year later you know ronan's now a little bit more grown and he can do a little bit more stuff so he asked to rejoin the band and after we played our couple of shows with him and everything it just kind of turned out he just couldn't couldn't financially do it with us and with time with his family it was just a whole a whole thing so well, no love lost it was just no i appreciate yeah, no. that and and knowing you guys as members we played a couple of shows together you guys are really cool in the local music scene you've got some fans here today that just came <laughs> to hear the podcast the that's and, tyler man and this you guy guys networks. are cool as a breeze yeah. man i know that uh, you have no problem jamming and rocking with other people mm. but i do want to ask because it's it's difficult for me to think about what you guys are doing with no words because i always have like words to help pace me where i'm at in the count and you uh, guys yeah. played like i don't know six eight eight minute songs maybe where it's like how do you maintain um, where you're yeah, at yeah. in the Feel. song like who's turn? um I, I think too like i i make sure that i have some sort of catchy melodies that i'm doing with yeah the guitar. i follow his melody because like when, when we're playing out tyler what he wants to hear is the, the guitar those are his cues well i mean like it like i said it was we started in what 2015 something like that that was just us fucking around yeah that was just us fucking around just oh, us yeah. two and then eventually we got um what was it og yeah. We wrote a song called OG. It's like blues core is what we called yeah, it. Yeah, we got to bring that back, though, for real. It, 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 even though we didn't really know what we were doing. Blues we still core. Kinda, we blues still core. It's coming out. Someday. Got it. Someone's got to do it. But, yeah, um, uh, yeah it, like it was 2015. We took a couple years. We ended up getting like Talking Smack written. And uh, Dick joined the band shortly after it was like what 2018 mm -hmm. 2017 during the pandemic so yeah, it was like was 2019 his, with his algebra uh, core yeah algebra, algebra core. rock algebra rock yeah uh but yeah so like and that's the other thing we'd love another guitarist but i mean you guys are musicians i'm sure you can experience people being unreliable or changing their minds it's been hard to get someone on there all of our recordings are supposed to be two but we try to do our best with just the three of us and try to get our our music across which you know but yeah well, we'd like to expand a little bit for sure Derek and I tell people all the time the less people you have in the band like the easier it is to manage because like to get everyone's like schedules together for like shows rehearsals anything else to record it's just it's a lot to juggle and you know I really think you still have like a full sound so hearing oh, you guys it. go from a four piece to a three piece like I understand you lost a vocalist for a track or two but like you guys still have like everything you need and then your per your presence and performance on stage like you're, you're a really entertaining band to watch I like how you guys are kind of split apart you know letting Ty show off in the center he's a really animated drummer yes like he is oh yeah <laughs> if you, if you i let it, you know when i fuck you up. know what's surprising he kept his shirt on this time that's usually something it was only three weird. songs i he lose it at the, the third yeah. song or after and then he rips the shirt off the immaculate chest pubes are out the ladies are going Gorgeous. crazy it's it's wild so when <laughs> uh obviously you guys are playing when can we see him rip his shirt off well i know you got some live shows coming right up <laughs> 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 that comes later that's oh, why the I alcohol <laughs> Uh, yeah, so our next show is uh, June 22nd, yeah. which is next Saturday, I believe. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm not good with dates, and I forget most of Check our dates Check them out, until. support the live music. Yeah. They've got a couple of tracks out, uh, some singles I know. Mm -hmm. Just listen to Amp Killer. Don't listen to Flat Earth. And you got a second show, right? <laughs> Don't you have something coming up in July? Yeah, as well? July 14th. Do we play at Oscura? At Oscura with uh, Chasing Airplanes, yeah. is that it, right? Yeah, Chasing, Chasing Air Airplanes and Endurance. For the record, who would try And that? what we They're seek. so fast. Oh, and Mothbite as well. <laughs> and Mothbite. And that's the, the that's 20 second shows with Deadweight. Uh, we the boys in soul. fucking Deadweight. Dead Go and check them out. And the Hand of Reason. Smash them up. And, and on, on to Nova. Nova. It's yeah, a killer yeah. lineup. I saw, I saw the promotions for it. It looks really good. But, you know, we really appreciate you guys coming good in. Boys. It's awesome that you're a local Tampa band. We've had a ton of people from out of town recently, so it's good to have the local boys in here. Yeah. yeah. Doing the thing. 813. Um, and be before we wrap up, though, I want to bring up. How awesome, I mean, music's okay, but how awesome is the sport of disc golf? Dude, fucking I, great. Oh God, he's freaking really fucking golf. dope. These losers, I'm out of here. <laughs> listen, this dude, disc listen. golf, great. Matt, what do you think about disc golf? You know, it's all right, man. It's, it's, it's get cool. out of here. Yeah, he's got yeah, more yeah, discs yeah, than yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah. trying to get you to come out, buddy. Uh, when I was younger, it was, it was a good time. <laughs> Tyler's teaching me how to throw. My titty still hurts. I, like, ripped a muscle or something. I'm I teaching probably, him how to backhand. I was backhand. inebriated, but still, I mean, it's hurt me so far. I'm trying to like it. <laughs> yeah, like, like, so one of my best friends in Colorado, he he moved from here to Colorado, and then <laughs> he got into disc golf. He came down to visit one time, took me, and it was a 
addicting. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know how fun it's that huge. could golf be. Golf is big down here. Disc golf also big. Disc golf, golf is, like is way capital, bigger than you would like, think. We're in like the mecca of it. There's so many local courses. Saint Most Pete. of them are free to play. Discs are Come get schooled in a round of disc golf and then get rocked oh, yeah. at a live show. Yeah. Hell yeah. With Hell yeah. Make sure you rock out with your socks soon. out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully some music coming out soon too. That, that yeah. too. Maybe yeah, yeah. Big uh, things. Maybe Danny soon. Bow's going to be coming <laughs> Little out Little small things coming soon. All right, let's wrap it up. I think that's enough. Thanks, guys. If you say so. See All you. right, guys, have a good one.